Well, Dad, there appears to be some parts missing out of your car. Yeah. Why are the parts missing? Well, it's taking her apart because she just ain't running like I want it to run. I think we might have to index the cam, so I gotta pull the whole front of the motor off. You mean degree the cam? Cam. Cam degree. Degree the cam. Yeah. And I'm gonna take the manifold off and take the valve covers off. Of course that'll be all for the degree in the cam, but anyway then that'll allow me a lot of clearance to lower the rear end of the motor, pull the transmission off, change the torque converter out to a higher stall. Bought me a three thousand RPM D and M whole shot converter. Came in a really cool box. Maybe maybe that's the secret. I don't know. Maybe my cam's not index dried. I don't know. We'll see. It'll be the first cam we've ever degreed. Dad bought that degree and kit from Summit. So that ought to work pretty good. Yeah, the engine surges. <clears throat> Can't figure it out. Getting a bunch of that white rust on my aluminum. That's all your oxidation because there's no protection on it. But I guess it's, it's all going to be off. We can do something about it. Right. We need to do something about it. Either. Well, it's rain we've had. Yeah, moisture in the air ain't good on bare aluminum, just like it ain't good on bare steel. So, if there's anything else you want to allude at, Dad? I'm gonna get back to working on my old priming tool. Well, I'm just taking her apart and trying to save all my bolts. So I don't have to go hunting bolts every time. Put nuts on the back of a bolt so I, they'll stay with it. Oh. Good idea. I'm gonna get back doing what I'm doing, Dad. And everybody's gonna watch you do stuff on a little camera until you knock it off inevitably. <laughs> All right. Whatever. <laughs>
you made some good headway, Dad. Yeah, there's a lot of bolts. A lot of bolts. A lot of bolts on a cross ram manifold. A lot of bolts on a Hemi in general. Well, it's just an engine. It's got 20 valve cover bolts on each side. Or no, it's 10 each side. You got 20 valve cover bolts. It's kind of excessive. Then look at all them freaking intake bolts. You gotta freaking take apart. A pain in the butt. Pain in the butt it'd be. Pain in the butt it'd be. That is true. Well, I got some Allen heads to take out. Ugh, Allen heads. Ah, sorry, right, Dad. Well, I guess get back to manning your little camera. <laughs>
see all your wrinkles. Oh, God. Why would you do that? I don't know. There's going to be a hell of a video difference here. Going from what was my phone and the little cheap Chinese black camera to this little sucker. <laughs> At 8 o'clock in the morning, what are you assembling there, Dad? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out this, this uh, thingamajigger here. That thingamajigger is a cam degree in kit. You gotta get your terminology straight, Dad. Dad's got his degree and wheel on there. We're gonna make sure this cam is where it's supposed to be before we start reassembling all the junk. We gotta get the oil pump taken apart because the gasket's bad right there. We attach it to the block. And what else were we doing? Well. Once we get the motor where we think it's supposed to be, I don't know whether I'll put, go ahead and put the motor back together and fire it up and see how that torque converter does. Oh, that's right. And yeah, if it don't, if the car still acts stupid, we got a bigger stall converter, 3,000. Yeah, I got a B&M Hope Shot, 3,000 RPM. And that's gonna be a major project. Yeah, that's exhaust taken off. Transmission, drive shaft, yeah. blah, 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 blah. That'll be a lot of fun. So I guess, which camera do you want filming you, Dad? <laughs> I don't care, because I'm. there's going to be a lot of deleted footage. That is true. Yeah, I'm just trying to stumble it through this first time. i got to build a little bracket, because in the law of the land, magnets don't stick to aluminum. That's true. So I gotta build me some kind of a bracket so that, that dial indicator can stick and stay put. That makes sense. So I can get a good reading. So I think I'm just gonna build my little thing goes off my one of my valve cover studs, you know, up and over and out so it can sit on that and and read my valve. That that'd work. I don't see why that wouldn't. Yeah. Come out and oops. So it's right out there where you can see it. I was trying to stick it here and here, and, and it kind of did all right, but I don't know, I got this stuck on. I gotta come up a way of finding, the first thing you do is find true top dead center, yeah. which is the dwell. You know, when the piston comes up to the top, well, there's a little dwell there in the crankshaft, it's a few degrees, and you gotta find the middle of those degrees to where it starts pulling it back down. Mm. That's the first thing you do. I'm just acting like I don't know any of this. Well, I don't know him much. I just what I've read. And yeah. I watched a few videos. I guess uh. we're going to find out, see if this cam. I'm, you know, I put my bottom gear at the stock position on my timing chain. Well, it's got three keyways, four degree difference on each one of them keyways. Uh, maybe I used the wrong keyway. It's hard to say. This thing might sound like a dragster when I get done. Oh, it should sound just like the satellite. It should, and I don't know why. Except for a Hemi, will sound a little. I mean, that's not a wedge. A lot of guys say each engine don't sound any different. You know, each V8, and they got a little, little difference. With all the videos I've watched, they put their stuff in stock position, and it was fine. It was yeah. 107 degrees before whatever cam, 107 degree cam. It'll probably be a torque converter deal. All right, Dad, you've been talking for four minutes. All right. We got it. Now I forgot what I was doing. That's okay. <laughs> Dad, you want to show people what them beautiful man hands you got? The problem you found with that lifter? You know, I've seen this looseness on this one lifter. Yeah, you can see that little clip up in there. I know I can't see the camera at all. It's so glary and everything, so I'm hoping they can see it. Looks like the old keepers come out of that hydraulic lifter. Yeah, pick it up again. Now I can see what the camera's showing. Oh, get out of there. Yeah. That don't look good at all. I think that's the little keeper that holds everything inside of the lifter. Yeah, it was just hanging there. So yeah, I don't know if that's really contributing to dad's running issues, but that definitely sucks. Oh. Oh, geez. 
Oh. I got the rocker. There's that retainer piece. We had our magnet handy. We just go ahead and pull out that lifter. Or the parts of that lifter. You guys want to know if something's messed up? The bolts, these nuts here on these rockers, on these adjusters, are metric. And the actual studs here for adjusting your push rod length, it's, it, the size doesn't exist. We bought brand new sets of Allen wrenches thinking ours were just wore out. And the only size that's close is eighth inch and it's still a little small. None of the metrics. It goes from three to three and a half. Three and a half is too big. Three inches too small. Or I guess three millimeters, not inches. It's freaking nuts. Oh god, death loss. Awesome. Oh, you got the lifter all in one go. Oh yeah, look at that. That lifter's gonna come apart. That. Just a keeper. Yeah, it just holds everything in there. Here's hydraulic. There's a little spring in there. Yeah. Well, I'm still gonna preach Hughes's quality, but this does suck. This hurts my reputation, my uh, trust with them. They've always sold me good parts in the past. Yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of shit that probably comes out. That's where you push it. Gotta keep goes it on. all together. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's everything else that makes it a hydraulic lifter. Oh. oh, oh. Yeah. Well, I oh. Let me dump the oil. Well, this sucks. This thing without the oil in it might go back together. That keeper destroyed, dead. Yeah. No. You ain't go the keeper goes in that lip right there. Yeah, that, this thing's destroyed. That's pretty close tolerance. It won't even let the air out. Clean this up with brake cleaner. All right. Well, now you guys know the problems we are having. Got a good wear pattern on the bottom. It's not ate up. So here's the good news. Got the lifter put back together. It's not going to come apart. Checked it with another one. That's how they're supposed to be. It's all seated properly, and we got it pre-lubing again because we cleaned all the oil out of it. And hopefully we can... Uh, Get it to work properly so i'm gonna go get a ziploc baggie filled with oil and let this thing sit for a while while dad does his valves we have no idea what we're doing really i mean if that's not apparent already but yeah if you're watching this video as an instructional on how to do this well you're learning with us so don't follow our steps until the very end because then you'll know where the mess ups are and what to actually do and there I do. That's right. I tell you what, there's a lot of wizard dust flying around. <laughs> and I don't think it's helping us for some reason. So, Dad, since pretty much all of the footage previous to this, which may be included or not in like super speed mode, you want to tell people what you found with your engine and your cam and all your hoopla? Oh, my brain hurts. So does mine. Um. All of the readings and findings I came up with, it was uh, well, the engine was retarded. You mean your cam was retarded? Yeah, cam was retarded. It had to, I, I changed the cam gear. <laughs> what are you doing? I changed the cam <laughs> gear yeah. to, to its four degree advance. And all my, it's supposed to give me better low end torque and all that. So. What you found is your cam was 
retarded in terms of timing, so you advanced it on the gear that goes on the crankshaft. Mm -hmm. and, and now it's coming up to the specs. After I did that, it's coming up to all the specs that's on the cam card. So it's a pain in the ass, basically. Well, if you knew what you're doing, which we don't, man. I think I kind of got it figured out now, but it's kind of a pain in the ass. Got aluminum heads and a magnet. Magnet don't stick. There's Dad's little apparatus he made. Just a piece of angle wire. Well, it's still an apparatus. I'm taking this off because I'm done with it. You done with it? You fed yeah, up with it? Fed with it. That's yeah. a cheap hooker. Cheap hooker. Wasn't really a cheap hooker, it was a hundred dollars. That's one thing I do have to complain about. Is you're watching that horsepower TV on how to degree a cam, and they're like, oh, this guy offers a great kit and blah 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 powerhouse and blah 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 and Edelbrock comp cam blah 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 blah. He don't give a crap about what he's spending because he ain't spending a dime. No, he's got thousands and thousands of dollars worth of shit just given to him to do all this stuff for TV. And here the local guy can't do it, but all I know is this right here. And just see all these nice little bushings they give you so that it'll fit your camp, your degree wheel. It's all for Chevy. Ain't nothing there for a three quarter bolt like a big block Mopar round. Because Mopar uses a real bolt for the crank bolt. No offense to Chevy guys, but Mopar has a real freaking bolt in it. So, yeah, I guess in post, if you're watching this video on how to degree a cam, go somewhere else. Now that after you watch the whole thing, I'm sorry for wasting your time. <laughs> Damn. What do you think, Michael? I don't think. I don't know why you keep asking me that. Yeah. Okay. Michael, you got to be more fun for the camera. What do we do? Dance around like a monkey? Please? No. Come on. Oh. We can put a little background music in it. Nope. Oh. Fine, I'm going to dance for you. Go for it. Oh, shit. The screen turned off. Damn it. Battery died. No, it didn't. Battery still got, I still got time on the battery. There, Dad. What? You got Dad for camera? Yeah. See, Michael, at least Dad's trying. See that? Could at least try. Oh well. well. I guess all that's left, Dad, is we'll have to film speedy footage of your engine going back together. Oh God. That'll come when that comes.